Okay, I want to give a quick update from the uh, top of the roof. What we've done is we've went ahead and applied the um, sheet metal. And as you can see, I got the um, the one by uh, under bracketing for the actual sheeting to drive into. So all I did was I pinned um, uh, their washer nails for sheet metal nails with the washer on it. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about real quickly here. So if you look here, you see they have the, let's see if we can get a better view. Okay, you see the little black thing there? They have a washer on and that's to keep rain out once you actually uh, dry the nails and it allows it to sit flush, as you can see here. Um, so on the ridge points, I simply installed two to hold it down tight. And then the small lip of the overlap you can look here one of the pieces of sheet metal is about um, an inch and a half and the other is an inch you take the shorter piece of the edge and you overlap it over the bigger piece which is underneath here so that's how you actually uh, lay out the sheet metal uh, side by side and you do it all the way down um, the ridge plate will go on top here and again, this is just for my shed, so the spacing is not really an issue here. No water is going to get um, in there when I apply the or put the uh, ridge uh, covering on top. So you see here we have it going down all the way here. It's actually come out pretty well. You see our leftover pieces there. We'll actually probably uh, build the doghouse with um, the roof with that. But here you have it. Uh, we have our last sheet that we're going to do on the edge and we'll probably put a, uh, a edge cap on the end and there you have it so i'll keep you posted up when we get the ridge on top and we fasten everything and it's complete i'll update you on that but this is a pretty simple process just cutting the sheets correctly you want your cut edge up towards the uh, part where the ridge is going to cover so as you can see here this has been cut out with uh, sheet metal uh, shears. And then you have a factory edge at the bottom. And all you do is make sure that that's even all the way by measuring out from your uh, your uh, common rafter facing there. And it should be equal distance all the way across so that when you're looking at it, there's a straight line going all the way down. Oh, that's pretty much it with the sheet metal. Um, take care and until next time.